good morning everyone now here this is a series of lecture for tybsc analytical chemistry student now in this video we are going to learn about the one practical associated with the tybsc physical chemistry now the aim of the practical is that to determine the order of reaction for the oxidation of alcohol by di potassium dichromate or potassium permanganate in acidic medium colorimetry or spectrophotometry now we are going to determine spectrophotometry color or colorimetrically the investigation of the order of reaction now what is the order of reaction order of reaction is nothing but the the concentration of uh, uh, the proper terms involved in the concentration uh, terms involved in the uh, rate law expression the power of concentration terms rise to its proper uh, rate law expression that is nothing but the order of reaction and the molecularity of reaction is nothing but the number of molecules taking part in the chemical reaction that is nothing but the molecularity of reaction this is the difference between the order of reaction and molecular molecularity of reaction and the alcohol is get oxidized by the potassium dichromate and uh, we can say sulfuric acid that is acidic medium is nothing but the sulfuric acid so this is all about the aim of the practical now the theory the oxidation of alcohol by oxidizing agent such as the potassium dichromate or potassium permanganate in acidic medium that is sulfuric acid reported as a first order reaction in each in each of the reactant now here the rate law expression is nothing but the first order kinetic equation potassium dichromate or potassium permanganate oxidizes primary alcohol to produce corresponding aldehydes in acidic medium this is further oxidation may be give carboxylic acid now here carboxylic acid is obtained from the aldehyde and aldehyde are obtained from the alcohols so alcohols uh, react with the oxidizing agent in presence of acidic medium to give the aldehyde and aldehyde are further oxidized to acids the reactant potassium dichromate is colored and uh, during the process progress of the reaction its color get disappear now when we add the excess of uh, dilution we go to further the excess of dilution the color intensity of the uh, potassium dichromate goes on decreasing therefore the kinetics of the oxidation of potassium dichromate can be studied by the measurement of absorbance at different time intervals by using spectrometer or spectrophotometer the absorbance is at a wavelength 400 mm at a wavelength that i got ions over the lambert's law so we can say standard wavelength is a 400 mm and at this wavelength maximum absorbance of the dichromate ion takes place Chemicals, but the chemical that is reacted as reacted we need positive molecular. It's a catalyst to react. We uh, add a catalyst as a role of catalyst that is potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid. So these are nothing but the chemicals. Now apparatus: spectrophotometer, volumetric flask, graduated pipettes, 10 ml and 2 ml. These are the need of the apparatus. Now next one procedure, measurement of absorbance at time t. Now we just uh, standardize the uh, we can say colorimeter or we can say spectrophotometer uh, with the help of uh, we can say sulfuric acid as a blank. Now here, uh, or we say water as a reference as a blank. We can say we select a water as a reference and uh, we standardize the colorimeter with zero percent absorbance and uh, hundred percent transmittance. That's, that is a calibration of colorimeter. In the reaction cell, that is Q8, Q8 acts as a reaction cell here. We take 0.5 ml dichromate, 0.1 molar dichromate, potassium dichromate, using a micro pipette and 2 ml sulfuric acid. Add it, add to it 0.5 ml water, and measure the absorbance of this solution by keeping the cell in a spectrophotometer at 420 nanometer wavelength using water as a reference. This reading corresponds to zero time. Call this reading as a A0 or alternatively A0 can be determined at the commencement of the reaction immediately after mixing the reactant. Now here in the cuvette, the cuvette is nothing but the cylindrical or can say rectangular shaped tube and it or glass tube. In it we have to add 0.5 ml, 0.1 molar potassium dichromate. So quantity is 0.5 ml in volume uh, plus we have to add 2 ml sulfuric acid and then we add the water 0.5 ml water. And this is nothing but the reaction mixture where reaction takes place. And we have to we, we are going to add 
this Q8 into a spectrometer or spectrophotometer. So we get the absorbance initial reading and we, we denote it as a E0. <coughs> Now the measurements of absorbance at time t. Now we prepare a series of we can say standard solutions of the reactants in this way. In a small beaker, 10 ml capacity. Take 1 ml of 1 molar ethanol. 1, 1 ml of 1 molar ethanol. Now uh, in the previous uh, A part, we are not going to enter, uh, adding added ethanol as a reagent. We just added a potassium dichromate, sulfuric acid, and water. But in this B part, we are going to add 1 ml of 1 molar ethanol by graduated pipette using a micro pipette and add 2 ml of sulfuric acid to it. In the similar way, we have to add 0.5 ml potent 0.1 molar potassium dichromate using a micro pipette in the above beaker containing 1 molar ethanol and 2 molar sulfuric acid. So, ethanol, sulfuric acid, and potassium dichromate we have to, we are already added. Add 0.5 ml di distilled water to it and stir mixture quickly. Now we are going to add 0.5 ml distilled water. So there are the four reactants present in the Q8. Start the stopwatch immediately and do not stop the beaker. Do not stop the stopwatch throughout the experiment. So we are not going to uh, stop the stopwatch throughout the experiment. <coughs> now Fourth part, transfer the complete mixture in the cuvette and place the cuvette in the compartment of spectrophotometer. Now here, in the beaker we have already four mixtures and then uh, we transfer that um, uh, solution into a cuvette, reaction mixture into the cuvette. And then uh, we uh, measure the absorbance of uh, uh, with a time interval 1 minute, 2 minute, 3 minute, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, up to 10. So, uh, after one minute, we, have, we are going to uh, read, out, read the absorbance. Call this reading as AT. The first reading is A0. And here AT is the first uh, reading when we add the ethanol in the reaction mixture. Continue the reading absorbance by keeping the cell in a spectrophotometer till the absorbance decreases to one fourth of the initial value. So, initial value, that is one is the initial value. So, uh, we take the reading at, as a part of uh, absorbance goes on decreasing with time. So, the plot should be like this way uh, of absorbance versus time when we plot. Approximately, it takes 9 to 10 minutes. Tabulate your results as shown in figure. So, this will be the observance, observation table regarding the practical. Now calculate the value of k by using the equation. Now first order kinetic equation follows the rate law expression k is equal to 2.303 upon t log of a0 upon at. Now a0 is nothing but the initial value of uh, absorbance divided by at is nothing but the absorbance with, uh, absorb, at is nothing but the absorbance with uh, interval of time 1 minute. So k by graph, we play a plot a graph, plot a graph of log of a0 upon at against time t. The straight line graph shows the reaction, which is the first order kinetic equation. So, this plot will like similar plot we get over obtained here in practical. Here, result the velocity k by calculation, the velocity k by graph. We write down this graph, k value in per minute uh, unit. Now, here the observation table we get, we get the observation table in this way absorbance at zero time that is 80. So, AT is nothing but the 1.4. This is the 1.4. Absorbance at time T, here AT is nothing but the 1.01. So, we write here two values, 1.4 and 1.01. Now, we take the absorbance at a time time interval of uh, yeah, time T, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 8, up to 8. And we measure the, we measure the absorbance uh, with interval of uh, 1 minute and uh, uh, log of a0 upon at is plotted here so log of a0 a0 is nothing but the 1.4 divided by at here 1.01 so 1.4 divided by 1.01 that is a uh, 0.104 now similarly here uh, at here log of uh, here log of a0 upon at now here 1.01 divided by 0 0.58 so that is should be the 0 0.1441 so a0 is there 1.4 it is here 1.04. We take the division of this 
and we write down this here <coughs> now log of a0 here a0 uh, it is absent here so we take the 1.4 that is 0 0.104 log of uh, 1.4 is nothing but 0 0.104 and here uh, here in this in this here how to calculate this value log of a0 upon 80 here log of uh, log of a0 now no, this is the log of a0 upon 80 here is my text here is so here uh, how to calculate this value so remember we take uh, the ratio of a is row that is 1.4 divided by 1.01 so we get the value of uh, simply this uh, ratio uh, and uh, whatever the ratio is obtained that we take the log value that is 0 0.1441 0 0.1447 here similarly log of a0 is nothing but 1.4 we divide the by 80 that is 0 0.58 so 1.4 divided by 0 0.58 and we take the log of that value that is nothing but 0 0.2519 similarly uh, log of a0 is 1.4 so 1.4 divided by 0 0.25 so whatever the value is obtained what is the ratio division factor is there we take the log of that value and we write this value uh, of log value here similarly log of a0 uh, 180 now here a0 is a 1.4 here 1.4 uh, a0 divided by uh, 1.4 divided by 0 0.2 so whatever the value is obtained we take the log of that value and uh, say this is a log calcul uh, this is a column particular column calculation now la the last here k now here initially 2.303 upon t uh, log of a0 upon uh, now here uh, it is absent so we write down here zero here so similarly uh, when we uh, we have the this value log of a0 upon 80 so log of a0 upon 80 they just multiplied by 2.303 uh, we get this value similarly here uh, <coughs> similarly here uh, 2.303 get multiplied by 0 0.2519 we get this value here similarly 2.303 get multiplied by 0 0.5845 we get this value and so on the respective values are where should be calculated in this manner now these are the calculations how to how the calculations are performed 2.303 upon t log of a0 upon a minus i a minus n 2.303 upon t log of a upon a minus x this is the uh, first order kinetic equation that is the rate law expression involved in first order kinetic equation so 2.303 upon t log of a0 upon 80 just a is uh, uh, we can say uh, get uh, replaced by a0 and a minus x replaced by 80 here so 2.303 upon 1 so 1 here time is 1 1 interval is there again here 2 interval is there 3 interval so so on t is nothing but the time interval so 2.303 upon 1 into log of a0 upon 80 that is we have already calculated in the uh, cal uh, in the observation table we just multiply we just multiply and so value is obtained here uh, 2.303 upon t uh, so t is uh, for the second value t is 2 2.303 upon 2 into 0 0.515219 so whatever the value is obtained that is nothing but the here similarly 2.303 upon t log, uh, similarly this uh, respective values are calculated so on now the velocity constant k by calculation the velocity constant k by graph is calculated here now this will be the nature of absorbance with time here 1.4 is the maximum absorbance and uh, the absorbance decreases with time t in this manner here uh, absorbance versus uh, time is again plotted but uh, but here the nature is nothing but it is a straight line we just uh, uh, take uh, we have taken already a linear reg a regression of that equation so y is equal to mx plus c here the slope value is y if you compare this value 
if you compare this value then it should be y is equal to y is equal to mx plus c so y is equal to mx plus c now here m is nothing but the it is a slope and c is nothing but the intercept remember here c is nothing but the intercept now here slope value is nothing but the this 0.483 is the slope value for the uh, plot of absorbance versus time now here uh, we just multiply this value to 2.303 so 0 0.483 into 2.483 uh, 2.0303 0 0.483 get multiplied by 2.303 so that is nothing but the k by that value is obtained uh, the value is obtained uh, from this calculation is nothing but the k by graph that is a rate constant for the graph and the value should be 1 point 11 so 1.11 is the uh, we can say the value by graph and when we uh, when we take the addition of all the uh, rate constant for the uh, same intervals or can say 1 2 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 up to this time intervals then we take this uh, k we obtain the k here we have already get the value so we take the addition of all and divided by the 9 because 9 calculations are performed here so we get the value nearly about 1.2 so 1.2 value is obtained here nearly about 1.24 is there 1.24 value is obtained so value is nothing but the 1.24 so here the calculations when performed we get the cal value of rate constant is 1.24 and by graph we get the values by we take the linear regression of that graph so that we get the value 1.11 so both values are concurrent and similar uh, similar value and the way as uh, in the result table uh, we can write the velocity constant k by calculation is 1.24 while the velocity constant k by graph is 1.11 per minute per minute is the unit for the rate constant uh, in first order kinetics equation or rate law expression now here we can conclude that the reaction is first order so we get the values approximately one in both calculation as well as the graph so this is all about the practical associated with the uh, order of reaction for the first order kinetics involved in uh, oxidation of alcohol with dichromate ion in acidic medium colorometrically or spectrophotometrically with this content i conclude this lecture thank you very much for your patience listening